Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasures video I will be showcasing my team without using the new Legend Zoro or Sanji as friend captain versus the new Pirate King Adventures up until level 99. 10th Anniversary Sanks as captain and the friend captain will be the 10th Anniversary Roger, 10th Anniversary Ace in the middle row and the same goes for 10th Anniversary Rare Recruit Nami. Then we have Sai free to play maximum level limit break Robin and the new 5 plus Blitzbat Luffy. You can proceed from the first two stages immediately and you can use whichever ship you want, I am using the Whale Sharks for easier perfects. For the specific supports, I am using two despair removing supports so alongside maximum sockets we can completely remove it in the final stage. I have V2 Whitebeard on Ace and the Rare Recruit Timeskip Strength Sanji on Luffy. Then I have Mr. 3 and Miss Golden Week on Nami, who because is in the middle row and will get special rewind, Mr. 3 and Miss Golden Week will help her regain her special to use twice in stage 4 and provide a damage reduction shield that will remain for stage 4 too. We activate Robin here and because Luffy is in the crew, we get a full board of matching slots and a conditional attack boost. We are more than ready now to attack based on color advantage and super easily defeat the two mobs that we are up against. The bind in stage 3 is removed because of Sanks as captain and Ace, the other unit in the middle row, can resist the special rewind so he's good to go. In stage number 4 now, the damage reduction shield is still active, which is highly important. We want to activate Luffy first to increase the low attack boost and the ore boost the enemies provided. Then we want to activate Nami twice, so make certain she's limit broken, because she will remove threshold completely. And after her to manipulate the block slots, deal with Gin's barrier, but also increase our damage, we are going to activate Sanks. The excellent tap timing from his special is not necessary, you can skip it, but if you want more damage, feel free to try for the excellent. The Uta support by the way provides a chain boost, it's not necessary at all, we have more than enough damage to defeat Krieg and Gin, so you can just not use her and instead have a stat boosting support on Shanks. We will pretty comfortably survive Krieg's after defeat hit because of our damage reduction shield from Mr. 3 and Miss Golden Week support and now we are ready to proceed and fight versus Mihawk. In case you're wondering, I am pretty sure you can swap your captains around in case you miss Sanks but have Roger. In the final stage, the despair will be removed because of sockets, Sanji and Whitebeard supports. And then we want to activate Roger first so we can completely deal with Mihawk's defense up. He won't really provide us any damage since we already have an attack boost, an ore boost and a color affinity boost. And then we want to activate Sanks' EX Super so we can transform our units and they can get better boosting from Sanks. And finally, we want to activate Ace for a conditional attack boost to remove paralysis and have the full board of matching slots. I will also activate Roger's EX Super. You can activate it in a previous stage as well if you want help with damage though, like stage 3 for example. And then we attack based on color advantage to super easily defeat Mihawk. We also have the chain growth boosting from Nami to help with the chain debuff and after we defeat Mihawk he will speak a bit, heal, but then leave so no worries and we clear the quest. And that is my team without any new legends as friend captains, but I will try to make more, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.